Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's move on to the non-inverting amplifier. What that means is that we have the input signal connected to the non-inverting terminal right here, to the plus terminal. So here's the input voltage connected, and I need to add a ground here. Let me do that. So we see that this is at zero potential, so there's the input voltage connected to the non-inverting terminal. Notice that in essence I have turned the amplifier around so that it's easier to draw the schematic. We have the feedback current going through the feedback resistor here from the output back to the input uh, terminal here. That is the inverting terminal right there. And let's now try to solve this equation. With other words, what we're trying to do here is calculate what the output voltage is relative to the input voltage. To do that, let's go to this junction right here at A, add up all the currents that enter the junction and set it equal to all the currents leaving the junction. So we have the feedback current entering the junction and we have the current coming from the inverting terminal right here. But since we realize that that current is virtually zero, we can just call it zero and that equals all the currents leaving the terminal, which is I sub I. Now notice also that the, these are just presumed directions. It could be that those are different depending upon the polarity of the input and the output voltage, but that's quite all right. That's just the assumed directions of the current. Now the I sub F can be calculated by taking the difference by saying that would be V sub O minus V sub A. So V sub O minus V sub A divided by the resistance between them, which is R sub F. That must equal the current over here, which is the difference between V sub A and ground divided by the resistance there, R sub I. And assuming that, uh, let's see here, did I do that right? Because what I want to do is assume that the voltage here is higher than the voltage there, so the current flows in this direction. The voltage here is higher than the voltage there, so the current will flow in this direction. So V's output minus VA should be positive quantity, and VA minus zero should be a positive quantity. Now, what we need to also do is realize that the voltage between the plus and the minus, or I should say the inverting and non-inverting terminals of the operational amplifier, the voltage here must be zero, which means that V sub A must be the same as the input voltage. So we can say that V sub A is approximately equal to the input voltage because the potential difference between these two points right here must be nearly zero. If that's the case, I can then replace V sub A by V sub I on both sides of the equation. V sub O minus V sub I divided by R sub F is equal to V sub I minus zero divided by R sub I. Now what I want to do here is try to find the output voltage in terms of the input voltage, which means I need to get hmm, isolate V sub O somehow. So let me cross multiply this here. We get V sub O is equal to the ratio of R sub F divided by R sub I multiply times V sub I, whoop, and then I, well, let me do it in, in two steps, otherwise I might be confusing people. Let me now do that. So we have V sub O minus V sub I is equal to moving the R sub F over here, we get that. Now I'll move my V sub I over here. I can then write that V sub O is equal to the gain factor R sub F divided by R sub I times V sub I plus V sub I when I move the V sub I over here. Then I can factor out a V sub I, and that means I can write my equation as follows. The output voltage is equal to the input voltage times the quantity of one plus the gain factor, which is R sub F over R sub I. And that is then the equation that shows us the amplification of the operational amplifier when we have connected it to the non-inverting terminal, notice that the polarity of the output voltage is the same as the polarity of the input voltage, and it's equal to the, the output voltage is equal to the input voltage times the gain factor plus one. Now, if the gain factor is large, we can pretty well ignore the plus one. But if the gain factor is relatively small, then the plus one does make quite a bit of difference. But at least now we have the output voltage in terms of input voltage, and that is the general way in which we connect the operational amplifier in the non-inverting mode. And that's how it's done.